In a steadfast response to an ongoing international concern, President Joe Biden has confirmed that the United States government is exerting daily efforts to ensure the release of a U.S. journalist captured and held in Russia for over a year on allegations of espionage. This statement comes amid heightened tensions and underscores the plight of press freedom worldwide. Evan Gershkovich, a 32-year-old correspondent for the Wall Street Journal, found himself embroiled in a grave legal predicament after Russian intelligence officials arrested him on March 29, 2023, in Yekaterinburg, situated in the Ural Mountains. The Russian authorities have accused Gershkovich of endeavoring to acquire state secrets, yet they have failed to present any substantiating evidence to back this severe charge. Facing the gravity of the situation, the Wall Street Journal, along with Gershkovich himself, vehemently denies the allegations, receiving strong support from the U.S. administration, which has designated Gershkovich as wrongfully detained. President Biden has gone on record emphasizing that journalism is not a crime, highlighting Gershkovich's dedication to reporting on Russia's military actions in Ukraine, a commitment that came with significant personal risk. The seriousness of Gershkovich's arrest is stark, with Biden underscoring America's unwavering resolve to counter and penalize Russia for its treatment of U.S. citizens as diplomatic leverage. Friday's presidential statement reinforced the commitment to battling any entity aiming to undermine journalistic integrity or targeting press members, fundamental components of a free society. The Wall Street Journal poignantly commemorated the first anniversary of Gershkovich's detention with a conspicuous blank space on its front page, illustrating the absence of his reporting with a pencil sketch of the journalist. The extension of Gershkovich's jail time until at least June 30th, his fifth such extension, further compounds the urgency of his situation. Gershkovich's predicament is historically significant, marking the first occasion since the Cold War, where a U.S. journalist in Russia has been arrested on allegations of espionage. The ordeal mirrors the hardships of other Americans, such as businessman Paul Whelan, who is deep into a 16-year sentence on similar espionage charges, a claim he resolutely denies. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken joined President Biden in decrying the exploitation of individuals for political bargaining, demanding immediate action from Russia for the release of both Evan and Paul. Parallel to Gershkovich's case, other journalists in Russia face their own battles with freedom of expression. Such is the case with Antonina Favorskaya, known also as Antonina Kravtsova, who, following her reporting on trials of dissidents like the now-deceased opposition leader Alexei Navalny, has been ordered to stay in custody on extremism charges. Moscow's Basmani District Court has ruled that she remains detained until at least May 28th, facing up to six years in prison if convicted. With Reporters Without Borders noting the detention of six journalists across Russia just this month alone, the situation reaffirms the global challenge to media freedom, with the story of Evan Gershkovich serving as a compelling testament to the ongoing battle for journalistic rights and integrity.